Hello, 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 Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another reading. This time, it's on Prince William and Kate. So, there are allegations um, being spread about um, alleged cheating and other <clears throat> adult topics and some uh, alleged weird fetishes slash kinks. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a reading on it and see how it's going. If you haven't seen my reading on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, I'll put it up here. I've done a, quite a few. Um, so, remember, these readings are all alleged for entertainers only, and let's get started. Okay, so the first one on the left, how about we do, since she's on the left, we'll do Kate on the left, and then we'll do William on the right, so I don't get confused. Let's do that. Okay, so she's the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, my God. He's the Five of Pentacles, and between the two of them, ooh, family feud. Oh, why, wait, do they want to move? Okay. So, the Eight of Pentacles is what she showed up as, which is about hard work. Remember, these rings are all legend for only. I don't know why I said that. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is about hard work and effort. When I tell you that she cares a lot about image, she cares a lot about image. Um, I also see the Eight of Pentacles as someone that's willing to put in the work. So, she's probably the best person that you could ever pick to be a royal wife, because she's willing to do whatever it takes and to abide by the rules and to do everything by the book. She's, she plays it perfectly. Um, to me, she's like the perfect first lady. That's like kind of what I see. Like it's giving very Michelle Obama, like the perfect first lady. I'm like, this is, this is literally what I was born for. Um, she follows all the rules. She's extremely well liked from what I'm seeing. Um, and I think she's been given a lot of advice about, uh, how to navigate this, um, how to uh, sort of generate um, correct PR and things like that. Like she's doing everything that she needs to do. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is reversed. Uh, excuse me. The Ten of Cups is reversed between them and the Five of Pentacles is upright for him. So Five of Pentacles to me is about um, taking control um, it's also about, uh, having control. Um, it's also about learning. So I think he wants to gain some sort of power. That's kind of what I'm seeing is like, I, I, I see him wanting to gain some sort of power. I seen him wanting to advance. Uh, so he's looking for more. Um, the Ten of Cups issues with the family. So I definitely really think that there are issues um, that are not easily solved between the family right now. Like what I'm seeing with the Ten of Cups reversed is like, I'm mad at my family. I'm pissed off at the way it's going. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting fair treatment. I don't feel like I'm getting what I want. There's just like constant it's him he's mad at the family she's following the rules he's mad at the family i don't know what's going on there um the six of swords is about travel distance change the internet so i definitely think with the six of swords it looks to me like they're they're wanting to move i'm not sure if they're wanting to move overseas i don't know if that's america i don't know what but i'm seeing some sort of move being contemplated the lover's card is upright and the nine of swords so nine of swords overthinking over analyzing and the lover's card is there so I see them stressed out. I mean, the Six of Swords could be the internet rumor too, but I see them stressed out. Oh. The Ace of Wands is the return of something old. The Magician is reversed, which is miscommunication and misdirection. And the Emperor is reversed, which is loss of control. They feel like someone's planting these rumors on purpose every time something goes wrong. Yep, devil card. Six of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. Yep. They feel like someone's purposely planting these every single time to get at him and to ruin his chances for stuff um, and to cause friction. They're pointing the fingers. 
um, the six of wands and ace of pentacles, especially like, oh, who needs money or who needs attention or who's looking for an advancement devil. This person's a bad person. Like you're trying to screw us over. Can I be honest with you? The moon is lies, deceit, deception. The four of pentacles is selfish and greediness and the page of wands is upright. Why are you saying this about me when we know who it's really about? This is deflection. Do I think that there's some validity to the rumors? Yes. Do I think that it's William? No. I don't. At least, I don't know. I, maybe that he's done something previously, but if he has done something previously, I don't think that's his kink, girl. The alleged pegging or whatever you guys were talking about. I don't think it's him. Because to me, this is deflection. We're going to say everyone else is doing what you're doing. That's what I'm hearing. No. In fact, these two have a very strong connection because he wants to be powerful and she wants to keep keep things status quo. These two are perfect for each other. Um, and I actually really like their connection. If he had stepped out, I, I don't think she would care because she's looking at this as more of like, I, like, She's looking at it more methodical than anything. These two would 100% have agreement anyways. These two are on the same page. These two are very much on the same page. They would have had an agreement if that was happening. There would be no drama. I'm not seeing any drama between these two. These two people are professionals. It's what I see. Um, the Three of Wands is reversed. The Queen of Pentacles is reversed. And the Seven of Cups. No, I, I want to... Hmm... It's like who somebody wants to embarrass somebody wants to embarrass Kate. There's a Queen of Swords here that wants to embarrass Kate. Six of Cups, the past reverse, siblings reverse, five of swords, pettiness. I'm wondering if it's just basic sibling rivalry. Between Harry and and um and um, William. Empress is upright, Sun is upright, and Strength card is reversed. Mm. Well, I can tell you that I think Harry has a chip on his shoulder, for sure, because to me, the Empress upright, the Sun upright, and the Strength card reverse sees he sees William as like the golden child so that's that's there but son empress and strength why are you seen as a pillar of love someone just doesn't like seven of wands knight of wands eight of swords feeling pressured and trapped underdog someone doesn't like how light i okay so i don't really know the royals because i'm american not british is kate very well liked and respected because someone doesn't like how well respected and how loved she is and um to me the the empress is upright which is like if i were to pick somebody who would be the next uh queen i know that's like not how it works but if i were to pick somebody who the queen would like most pick is like her it would be kate like if you were to ask the queen who she thinks is the most like her and if she was going to be honest she would say kate and I'm, she's not wrong in fact honestly i'm gonna be honest with you kate would be a better queen period i said it i don't care justice upright the world's upright and the page of swords is reverse so the thing is, is that Kate doesn't have to fight for things. Kate doesn't have to prove herself. Kate has a natural elegance to her and a natural regal energy to her. Um, and she just fit naturally. And just as upright with the world, which says that she's she's been established for a while. And she's really good at whatever the fuck she does. I think the justice card tells me like she gets what she wants because she knows... I don't know, like... She's kind of that bitch, kind of standing. What's her sign? I did pull the Queen of Pentacles before. Is she an earth sign? Um, the Seven of Swords is reversed, the King of Cups is reversed, and the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. Mm. Mm. 
do I, there are two things here. Prince Harry is totally not emotionally fulfilled, but we've seen that in the, in the past readings I've done on him. He's always the problem child. He always is failing. He's always taking the wrong thing. And I think that's how they look at him. They look at him as like, you always make the worst decision possible. However, do I think that Prince William is emotionally fulfilled? I don't know if he's in touch with his emotions. That's the thing. I don't know if he's in touch with his emotions. I don't know if William really understands what it is that he likes and doesn't like. I don't think he's in touch with his emotions. I think he's a little emotionally distant and cold. Um, the Queen of Wands is upright. The Two of Swords is reversed. And the Chariot's upright. I think there's a part of him that's intimidated by his wife. Like, there's a part of him that's kind of intimidated by Kate. Like, he's kind of like, she's kind of like, because the Queen of Wands is someone who's like beautiful, bold, confident, strong. And so it's like, it's like, it's like he's kind of intimidated, even to this day. I also think he's scared of her. If he did do anything, he, she would already know and he would tell her. This guy tells her everything. She's not going to hide a damn thing from her. No, he wouldn't hide anything from her. He couldn't if he wanted to. No, he tells her everything. He tells her everything. He tells her everything. She wears the pants. Uh, the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, she runs that ship, period. Two of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. I, she knows his schedule. She knows what he's doing. I'm sure she plans shit. Um, she knows where the finances are, are going. Like, this girl runs shit. When I tell you that, like, He's definitely in, slightly intimidated by her. She's completely in control. She's got him a little bit whipped. If he were to leave her, he would be just as much of a mess as his, as his brother. Um, so, yeah, she's like his saving grace, which is kind of funny. Um, I know everyone's wondering if he cheated. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see it. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen. It just means I don't see it. I see him terrified of her, though. He kind of would be someone who'd be too scared to cheat. So if he did cheat, she would already know about it and would have pre-approved it. That's the only way that could have happened because there's no way she doesn't know anything and he's too scared of her. Um, that's kind of the best I can, I can do here. But someone else has problems and it's getting projected onto them. And I think the story and the stories that keep coming up are someone else's shit and they're blaming William and Kate. I'm going to be honest with you. This couple looks pretty solid to me. It looks like what I would expect a, a power couple to be. Um, it's not perfect, but I think Kate is going to make a big move soon. I know they want to move the Six of Swords, and I'm wondering if they're going to try and become more popular in America or something. Um, but I see her trying to take over. I see her trying to do things. You know, like um, Michelle Obama, I keep seeing her. She was, like, doing stuff with, like, children and, like, you know, like, philanthropy stuff and stuff like that. She was really trying to make an impact and, like, a name for herself. I feel like Kate's going to start doing things like that. She's going to want the public to be more familiar with her and other countries and other places like America to be more familiar with her because they think she's really likable. Um, I'm, it, she's giving me, like, Martha Stewart meets Michelle Obama uh, is the type of vibe that I'm seeing. And she's going to be very successful. I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing maybe businesses or just stuff that she's doing. Um... Oh my God. She's been studying Diana. I think she's been studying Princess Diana a lot lately in like the moves that she made and the things that she does. And I think she's been getting inspired. I think that's exactly what this is. I think there's a, oh my God, that's actually really sweet. So you know how the Royals are kind of a mess right now and like there's so much bad publicity? I think for her, she's like trying to bring back Diana energy so that she can change the topic and the conversation ab about the Royals and she can sort of be like, um, 
show people the kindness and the good qualities of the Royals. She wants to get the name back on track and she wants to get back to how things used to be. She's a record keeper, Eight of Pentacles, and she's been going back and looking at all the old stuff and all the old things. She's trying to resurface and re re have a resurgence of what the Royals used to be. This girl is fucking cool. I like her. I don't know her. I know nothing about her. I think it's the first time I've ever read on her. I don't, I, but this bitch is cool. I fucks with her. Y'all should like her. And anybody who's talking shit about her is 100% jealous. Has to be. Because this girl's a badass bitch. Okay? So that's what I see. If you like that, make sure you tip. There's a new button down below that says thanks. It's a heart on YouTube directly if you want to send me any tips directly. And there's also a link to my PayPal down below. If you'd like to use that instead. Uh, follow me Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch. I said that twice. TikTok, Amphrodite. <laughs> uh, subscribe down below and let me know what you thought in the comments down below. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.